transition up fiasco verse. And I'm just gonna be honest with y'all. This next topic just just ain't been sitting right in my spirits. Ever since my friends at the Blanime Podcast, if you love dope anime content, please be sure to check them out. Link is down below. But they brought up the question of who is the best main character out the big three. And for those who don't know, the big three is Naruto, One Piece, and Bleach. Okay? And also some backstory. You're like, why why are those the big three? It's because at the time of their creation and their, you know, in their run, they were the biggest out of the Shonen anime. So they hence got the title the big three. I don't make the rules, okay? That's just their title, so we just gonna go with that. But the thing that riled me up that just didn't sit right in here was people's rankings. I just saw a lot of disrespect. So that's why I had to come to y'all and give y'all my ranking of these main characters, okay? So we're going to start with number three. And number three, I have to give it to Ichigo from Bleach. And here's why. My preferred main character is a character who legit has to get it out the mud. Okay, that we see the struggle, you know what I'm saying? So as he's going on his journey, we, we kind of go in there with him. You know what I'm saying? We see the progression. You 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 remember we, we see those moments of 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 of, of heartbreak and, and despair. I feel with Ichigo, I just feel like we ain't we ain't see a lot of that. You know what I'm saying? Within the first 40 something episodes, he he was causing a muck. In the Soul Society. How is it that in the first 40 some episodes, he's already beaten some of the strongest characters in the Soul Society? So there, that, that emphasis on, 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 on struggle and getting out the mud, we really ain't seen that. I feel like his progression was relatively fast where he got to the point where he was whooping some ass. You know what I'm saying? Like, mind you, y'all know I don't mind people people putting hands on folk, but I feel like it happened so fast that we didn't we didn't get that emotional attachment with Ichigo. So that's my main gripe again, Ichigo and Bleach. Okay, so let's go to number two. Number two, we have to give it to Luffy from One Piece. Okay, because granted, he did we we get we did get to see the progression in with Luffy. He definitely got it out the mud. But I will say, mind you, he he did have some strength to him. Mind you, is nowhere where he's at now. So we get to saw that progression. We saw we saw the struggle when when he lost his brother Ace on the battlefield. We we saw that pain. So we we were there with him, especially with everything he went through to try to save Ace. You know what I'm saying? So we did get to experience that uh, with him. So I, I I definitely say that's why I, I I had to put him at number two. But just me personally, I've always felt a, a closer uh, bond with Zoro. You know what I'm saying? I don't know why. Well, I do know why. Because he a real one. That's why. But i just always been more, for whatever reason, I've just always been more attached to Zoro than Luffy. You know, that's just, that's just me. So that's why I got to get number two. But number one, as I'm sure y'all guessed, Lord Seventh, the Nine Tails, the Hokage, Naruto Uzumaki. And like I said earlier, you honestly get to see my man's, he pulls it out the mud, okay? When we first met this man, this boy, I should say, he could barely do any jutsu. Now look at him. He is the strongest man in this village. So we literally got, we went on the journey with Naruto. We saw the ups. We saw the downs when he lost Jiraiya to this day. I refuse to watch that episode where he finds out that Jiraiya is dead. When he was sitting on the bench and the popsicle was melting, we didn't know if it was tears or was it the popsicle. We just, it was, it was, it was hurtful, okay? Because we went on this journey with Naruto. We see the progression from this, this boy who was just yelling out his dream to uh, uh, a man accomplishing it, okay? So that's why... I have to give the number one spot, the best main character out, the big three, to my man's Naruto Uzumaki. Because like I said, we see the progression, we see the progress, we saw the pain, and my man's legit had to get it out the mud, okay? 
So, I'm sure some of y'all don't agree with me, okay? And I don't care, because Naruto Uzumaki is that dude, you feel me? So, if you disagree, go ahead and throw a comment down below, let me know, you know? And as always, if you're liking the content, please go ahead and hit your boy with a like, and go ahead and hit that subscribe button, alright? But as always, oh, 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 I almost forgot it, I almost forgot. If you haven't read Fiasco, don't do it, alright? I appreciate that. Hey, I'll holler at y'all next time. Peace!